What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Brood War ladder cast. Once again, checking in on my boy Flash here in the top left hand corner. His opponent today going to be rain down here in the bottom right now. I'm very interested to see how this series goes. We just watched Motive versus Flash that came out a few days ago. And now we're here against Rain, who is a completely different player, but a legend in his own right. Almost equal to that of Flash. Although, I'm sure that many of you would contest that. <laughs> I think that Rain is like such a creative, interesting guy. If he played all the time, if he was like really devoted to this game, like imagine what he could do. He's done so well in StarCraft 2 and StarCraft 1, but he doesn't play really solid all year round. He's more of a, you know, playing around, you know, streaming a lot, doing a lot of IRL streams. Uh, he kind of messes around on the ladder, doesn't really take it seriously. And then right before ASL begins, that's when he gets into shape. That's when he uh, starts bringing out the creativity and thinking up new builds that can actually take down these strong players. So... I don't know what kind of rain we're going to see today, but I kind of have a good idea of what we're going to see out of Flash. He is going to be hyper aggressive. That's what he's been showing lately. I don't know if he's going to go for another six factory play, but he's been showing a strong affinity for that. And it's been going very, very well for him. So looking forward to seeing what type of style, what type of game we get out of these two. We've got two games to get into as rain scouts up into the top left. He's going to find Flash doing just a very standard build, mining that gas, getting into his uh, barracks. And I think he's going to be happy with the fact that Flash is all the way on the other side of the map. Cross map position is always pretty good for Protoss. You like to see it. The fact that he's way the heck over here means it's pretty tough to pull off like a six factory play where you have to push all the way across the map. What we've seen before is Flash be up in the top right and then push down this direction. You just have one straight attack. You can mine up the one side that the Protoss player can counterattack you in. But if you have to push through the middle of the map, coming around and counterattacking or pincering that attack is much, much easier for the Protoss. So it's harder for the Terran to pull off a really hyper aggressive play. And it's much more likely that we'll see a long game. We've got to get there first. First zealot coming over here towards this ramp we've got three marines and a fourth on the way with the factory just about done in the scv to block this should be a no problem hold for flash beautiful play there you know a lot of players will just let the zealot hit the scv and um take a bunch of damage on that or even lose the scv but flash the moment that the zealot attacks he pulls back the scv and then puts it into another position where it can block which forces the zealot to walk forward in order to keep attacking and it just allows the marines to deal that extra damage rain knows it and he just backs away immediately great start here for flash as he pushes across the mountain he's gonna pull scvs okay wild this is a gateway right into range with a dragoon and he spotted that but Flash is going to go straight across the map with four Marines and a Vulture. This hidden probe is not going to see any of this, by the way. He would love to have actually spotted that. Let's see what, what Rain actually sees. He only sees the four Marines and the Vulture. He hasn't seen the SCVs coming up yet. And, he, I mean, he's just going to surprise them with this. Let's see if Flash can get behind these Dragoons. Because if he gets on top of the Dragoons, maybe surround them. This could be go really bad for rain but if he just kites backwards pulls the probes utilizes the zealot here in the front he should be able to hold this well the one dragoon is getting very very low but a few probes are starting to go down but the surround is pretty good a lot of the marines are starting to fall here this one dragoon has survived way longer than it should have there's the bunker finishing up though and this will force rain back for now although that range is going to finish up quickly and the bunker is not in range of this ramp so we can come down come down the ramp get into position so we can set up three dragoons in range of that to start hitting it immediately i don't think he's going to get the nexus here but i could be wrong let's see what happens we're at 18 probes to 20 scvs so definitely in a little advantage to flash so far if he gets the nexus he's going to be in great shape if rain saves this i think that he's going to be fine to play this game out no problem 
Oh, it's getting quite low. Quite low indeed. There goes the Nexus. It will fall. Yeah, with the three SCVs, he's able to hold that. I mean, this is perfectly calculated for Flash. I thought maybe a few more Marines were killed, but look, we've got full four Marines plus the extra that came up, and now there's mines in front of the base. This is looking very good for Flash. He's going to keep repairing this bunker, which does cost money, but the delay on the Nexus is fantastic here for him. Now, behind this, we've already got a shuttle. We have the robotics support paid done, and the Reaver's about to pop out. Flash is in a pretty decent spot. He's got the lead in both workers and base timing. His CC is going to come up first. But it's all going to come down to this Reaver. What can Rain do with the Reaver? Oh my goodness, that was a lot of mines. That was so many mines. That's a pretty funny setup. Just put all the mines in a one line right there. That's quite a, a waste of mines if it doesn't do any damage, but it actually worked out okay. It did some pretty decent damage to these Dragoons that just popped out. Vulture setting up mines all over. Making sure he's got vision of when the third base comes up, but the Reaver's going across the map. Let's see what's back at home for the defense. Engineering Bay is not done. Armory is not done. Two tanks... A couple of Marines is all that Flash has to utilize against this Reaver. And if Rain plays his cards right, he could get massive damage. Let's see if he manages to make this work. How much damage can he get done? Reaver taking its first shot. Ooh, two Marines down immediately. The Dragoon pops out. We'll go for a second shot. Tank goes down. This is looking bad for Flash. Another big shot there on the tank. Tank's done some good damage to this Reaver, but oh my god, GG. <laughs> Flash taps out. Oh, that was a brutal hit on the ramp there. Ouch. Lights out for Flash. Yeah, it was a, a decent play. He really handled the attack pretty well. Uh, he got the Nexus. Just the follow-up is always hard to hold. The Reaver coming across the map this quickly after you did all that, that pulling and... Uh, sending SCVs across the map and you really slow down your uh, defensive setup. You know, that eBay is so late. Really tough to hold this. Rain played excellently though. He played completely standard. And during that attack, right, when the uh, Nexus was going down, he was already thinking about the tech. He was thinking about the follow-up and knowing that Flash wasn't going to have much defense back at home. He's able to get in there with the Reaver. Now, if that Reaver gets shut down, this is a very favorable game for Flash. But the Reaver got the damage it was looking for, and Flash just leaves the game knowing that he's going to be in a terrible amount of trouble. Uh, no matter what happens from here, he's just not going to have the units to actually deal with this Reaver uh, without taking massive, massive SCV losses. So he taps. We're going to jump into our second game. That's not what I was expecting. I mean, the aggression definitely from Flash is what I was expecting, but not that type of aggression. I wasn't expecting a SCV pull style of aggression, but it seems like he's testing something out once again. He's trying out new things, and that's what we love to see. We're going to jump into our next game. Let's go. Okay, game number two is going to be on Radeon. Rain over here in the top right-hand corner. Flash in the bottom right what kind of aggressive shenanigans is Flash going to pull out now? It's pretty funny what we've seen in his return. You can really see the development uh, and the pathway that he's taking to a return to the Brood War Pro scene. Is like, okay, I'm going to try really heavy macro plays and see how players react. Uh, well, that didn't go very well. Let's see. Let's try some, you know, six factory. Let's, let's let's study up a little bit on aggressive plays. Let's see how Protoss players can handle it. Well, they actually crumble pretty easily under that pressure. So how about if I be even more aggressive? Let's go and try to break their Nexus uh, after a one gate expand. That didn't work so well. Is he going to try it again? I wouldn't put it past him. He might just think like, well... Maybe if I just defend a little bit better. Maybe I did everything right, but if I just defend slightly better, then I can actually win that game. They might try the exact same thing again. 
We'll have to watch and see though. Rain just playing his game. He's probably excited to be going up against Flash right now. Uh, maybe streaming during this. I know that the earlier game that we watched actually with uh, Snow. I guess that was almost a week ago now. Uh, Snow was actually streaming that game and got a lot of viewers. He didn't do so hot though. So uh, I heard that he was quite upset about that. Uh, Shun was typing in the comments uh, of an earlier video. But um, that's definitely some sick content, right? If you are a streamer like Rain is uh, and you're playing this game to make money and to entertain the fans, then getting a little impromptu best of two or just a, a little impromptu two game series uh, against Flash. I mean, that's fantastic for your viewership, I'm sure. Now, getting in here with the probe, he's going to scout first. Same with Flash. They're both going to scout each other right off the bat. I like the setup here from Flash with the wall just across this direction. Uh, if there was like a, for example, a two gateway play, I think he might put another uh, supply depot right there and make this like an entire wall um that that's possible um yeah i don't know what you might put there maybe you put another building supply depot seems to make sense but it's already a pretty great wall in gives you a lot of space to maneuver here nothing on the gas so likely we're going to see a cc here in a moment i don't know why he's sending the scv down here did he not see did he not see rain in the top right? Did he go into the main and not see it? Oh my goodness. Well, that's... Um, that is unfortunate. It feels like Flash has just barely missed the scout. I did not expect it because I saw the SCV run straight up here. But maybe he came into the base and just didn't quite see anything and just backed away. Because he's now going to scout the top left. He really doesn't know. Well, that is, um, that's something else. I don't really know what to say about that. Um, Flash here, probably going to lose a Marine. But we'll deal a little damage to the hull of the Dragoon. Now, if he loses a second Marine, that's bad. He's skimped a little bit here. He didn't build three Marines, which is uh, standard uh, for this opener. Build three Marines for the bunker, and three Marines plus a Vulture actually beats a Dragoon, but... Two Marines plus a Vulture, I guess, doesn't. He is going to get inside the bunker now. The Dragoon has lost half HP, but two Marines gone down this early. Pretty rough. Pretty rough here for Flash. We've got Cybercore spinning. Oh, the Vulture gets in. Wait, what? I was not expecting that. Oh, that's crazy. Rain really messed up here. Oh, dude. The, the Dragoon was right on the ramp. And I guess the Dragoon left to go and hit this SCV. But that was the, his biggest mistake. He definitely needed to be on that ramp. And he lost a couple of probes as a result. That is unfortunate. Rain making a, a pretty big mistake in this early game. Luckily, he doesn't get punished super, super hard for it. But um, yeah, that's painful. Now, some Terran players will say that getting in and getting a couple of probe kills with that first vulture is actually not worth it you would rather keep the vulture alive so when the mines finishes you can actually uh, get mines out on the map and really control space uh, i'm not sure if i buy into that uh, line of thinking but just wanted to mention that even though that seemed like a good move there from flash some players would consider that to be uh, not quite optimal. You'd rather have the vultures for those mines. Now, looking at the SCV and uh, overall worker count here. This looks pretty decent for Flash. He is really getting into his comfort zone right now. He's got his eBay on the way. He has mines in front of his base, so he knows that there's nothing. Uh, you know, DT is going to run in or anything like that. It's just straight up Dragoon 2 Gateway Dragoon with some observers and Leaving the door open here again, that could be really, really dangerous. I hope that Rain will keep something in that wall. Because we're about to have speed finish and three vultures are ready to go. I Oh, man. I think he can slip by there. 
Oh, dude, this could be really bad. Yeah, that's not tight. Rain, what are you doing? Now, this is definitely optimal. That's three probes. Come on, more. Four. Five. Uh, okay. He doesn't get another one. I feel like Sharp would have gotten a lot more damage from that. Flash, not really controlling his uh, vultures there perfectly. Now the uh, dragon's coming up to the bunker. I'm gonna start to hit that. Oh, can he get the kill on one of these tanks? Oh, he gets one. Can he get a second one? He does. Wow. Two tank kills here for the cost of three dragoons. Not bad at all. This is due to the fact that he didn't go siege mode. Rain really, real, uh, you know, figuring this out quite well. Oh God, is he gonna lose the bunker? Oh, uh oh. This is some big brain play from Rain. He realized immediately uh, when he saw those vultures run in that Flash was not going to have siege mode ready. Uh, you can't have all of those upgrades at the same time, of course. So uh, realizing that there was a little gap in the defense here from Flash. He actually gets in and kills quite a few tanks. And now Flash's great position is looking a lot more even. You can see his SCV count still way ahead. But that tank count being reduced, always a pain for the Terran. It's going to slow down that, for, that, that, that push out timing by a lot. And it's going to allow Rain to get his Nexus count up a lot quicker here. We don't have any cannons just yet. We do now finally have a Reaver out on the field. We've got observers watching everything. The turret ring is being formed, but it's not. Uh, at the edge of the base, instead it's over here, so he can drop Reavers and actually harass this, kill this turret, and then make space to get in closer to the SCV line, and there's only tanks being made. So, without any Goliaths, this could be a little bit rough for Flash. Let's see. Let get in here. Okay. One good shot there on a tank. Pretty impactful here. Oh, this tank getting very, very low now. We've got quite a few more tanks. Uh, in the army, if he just sets these ones up out of range of the Reaver and brings some SCVs to heal them, he should be able to slow this down or at least or stop this eventually. Reaver going to head on back. Maybe going to go pick up a second Reaver. There it is. More gateways coming up. Flash, is it six factory time? One, two, three, four, five, six. He's going for it. This is exactly what we saw against Motive. He's just going to gear up and push out. Now, can Rain slow down this push a bit more than Motive was able to in his game? Or will he just get bowled over? I think he's already got a pretty reasonable position to take this next fight and to slow this down because he already killed some of the tanks. It's going to be hard for Flash to push through here. Two more tanks on the way. Pure Vulture behind that. Let's see, he's going to start to push out with plus one just as it finishes. Nice shot there, killing off the initial first tank. Goliath gets picked as well. Reaver going to be falling back slowly. Really needs to keep these alive. These might actually get hit now. The Reavers are in range. Okay, not quite going to take that shot. Slowly falling back here, Rain. As Flash pushes in towards the middle of the map. Going around with some vultures. Some of them do get picked off by that small group of dragoons. He can't get in here, but he might be able to hit some probes over the wall and at least create enough of a distraction to where maybe, maybe he can push into these tanks. Oh, he gets one or into the reavers. Excuse me. He gets one reaver. One reaver goes down. More tanks taking some damage, but tank numbers still looking pretty good. Taking it slow right now, pushing forward. With the two buildings, as usual, I love this. The engineering bay and the barracks floating forward, scouting ahead of the army, and just creating a, a bit of a distraction for the dragoons, right? As the dragoons come into fight, they start hitting the barracks and the eBay. They're not doing that DPS to the tanks and the vultures. So rallying forward here. The position's looking a little bit flimsy for Rain right now, but he's got quite a few zealots popping out. 
right at the correct time here to break this push can he make it work though here comes that reaver taking another pot shot another drop of the zealot and another pot shot here from the reaver oh that reaver's in range doesn't get taken out but almost does there's another shot on two vultures anything that they can do to reduce the count of terran units in this fight uh, before it actually occurs is huge he leaves the reaver here to go pick up something else now he's gonna go forward with this drop can he actually break this position oh some of the the mines are pretty good a lot of these zealots are dying right as they get on top of the tanks and the dragoon number is running out the six factory play working out beautifully for flash and look at that 1800 minerals i seem to remember distinctly 800 or 1800 minerals in the bank for motive as well during this push maybe flash has figured something out maybe he's found a hole in the protoss game with this six factory that he can exploit maybe just the the awe or like the the star power of flash um pun intended being a starcraft player actually throws off these guys when they see the six factory push it because it's not like a new push it's not something completely out of the ordinary right it's not like whoa we've never seen a six fact before players like me who do this all the time it's constantly going on uh, it's a very standard two base push but flash is making it look really good uh, with the way that he's moving forward with his tanks and these floating buildings uh, supporting he didn't bring many scvs this time but generally he was bringing three scvs with this army to keep repairing the tanks whenever they took damage from the reavers and stuff it's looking very strong looking very scary and flash continuing to improve it's beautiful to see i cannot wait for his first appearance in an asl or i guess the soup star league potentially the p what was it the the psl yes that brand new PSL. Yeah, I think it was the PSL. Yeah, that's a uh, that's on my channel here. Uh, I made a post about it really recently. Yeah, it was the PSL confirmed. You can take a look on my channel if you want to get more information about that. The Premier Star League. It's a new competitor for the ASL, replacing the KSL. Which, if you guys remember, back in the day was a great tournament uh, that was running in tandem with the ASL and gave us a lot of StarCraft content to watch. Uh, since that's gone away, there's been a little bit of a dip uh, in that professional level StarCraft content, but really excited to be watching that once again in the future. Having dual tournaments going on, dual like Premier League tournaments going on at the same time is amazing and i can't wait to see flash perform guys thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed this little mini cast between flash and rain and i'll see you in the next one